hi guys so this is jody cooking welcome back to my channel guys before i start this video i just want to thank you all so much for subscribing to my youtube channel it means so much i thank you all so much for the love for the support i thank you for commenting on my videos for liking my videos and for sharing my videos i just want to just thank you all so much i really appreciate it and if you guys do want me to do like a particular dish for you, you can always leave it below at the comment section. So guys, today I'm going to make you some brown stew mackerel. So that's my mackerel there. That's the size of it. It's already washed. It's already clean. And, and you know with mackerel, yeah, you don't have to scale it. So I already cut these one up. So this is the size. So these are all my seasoning, you have black pepper, you have paprika, you have fish seasoning, you have garlic powder. I normally use all purpose seasoning but it's finished. These are all my herbs, you got onions, you got thyme, you got scotch bonnet pepper and you also have pimento seed. So first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to mix up all my seasoning. I add one spoonful of the fish seasoning and one spoonful of the garlic powder, half a teaspoonful of the paprika and one teaspoonful of the black pepper. You can always use salt but the seasoning full of so much salt so I just try to cut down off the salt. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my hand and just blend it all in then now I'm gonna season my fish now I'm just going to do it one at a time. Make sure all the inside season properly. So this is what my mackerel look like after I finish seasoning it. So now I'm going to add all of my onions because I'm going to leave it in my fridge just for a couple of hours for it to marinate. Time. Hi guys, so my fish has been marinated and this is what it look like. I removed it from the fridge around 10 minutes ago because you know you're not supposed to cook it straight away. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take some napkin and just pat it so the excess liquid that's on it will dry because I'm going to fry them. So here I have a pot on the stove and the oil is hot because I'm going to fry my fish. I'm just going to let them brown, you know, maybe fry them at least five minutes and each side. So now I'm going to add my fish. Now 
so now I'm gonna turn my fish now. So now I'm going to remove my mackerel because it's finished brown. fish has finished fry and what I did I remove most of the oil from the pot so now I'm gonna add my onions and my tomato and my cut bunny pepper What I'm doing now, I'm making my sauce for my fish. So I'm gonna add one cup of water. I'm just gonna add just a drop of browning, not a lot. Oops, that's it. Give it a star. Then I'm also gonna add some ketchup. some fish seasoning that's around a half a spoonful and black pepper and salt some garlic powder that's half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'm just gonna taste it now. I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit of salt and that's it. And I'm gonna leave it for at least five minutes till it become a, till it boil. Then I add my fish. So now I'm gonna add my fish because this is exactly how I want my gravy to be. Also gonna add some bell pepper, spring onions, and just leave it for at least 10 minutes. Look at that color, so beautiful.
and I also add carrot, tomato, and pimento seed. And my stove is on medium, so I'm just gonna cover my pot now and just leave it for 15 minutes. So my fish is finally finished and this is what it look like. It's looking absolutely delicious. I'm having it with gungu rice and peas. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please like, subscribe for many other videos. I thank you all so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.